So these tips I'm about to give you guys are gonna be very simple. All you need is a phone, you don't need a fancy camera. At the very end of this video, I'm gonna put the best drone footage I've ever edited into a little one minute sequence in my entire life. It'll probably give you a very nice feeling of calm, relaxation, if that's something you need. It's just the most beautiful drone footage I've edited ever, literally. I'm super happy with it. It'll be at the very end of this video. This line is the line of the shadow. The sun is our brightest and most powerful source of light that we have available to us to use. So yes, by all means use it. But it's the camera that determines how natural the colors look. Hello! Ha, ah, friends and family. Top of the morning to all you wonderful, beautiful people out there. I am gonna be doing a video for you guys today showing you how to take better pictures of your snakes for Morph Market. First, a couple of quick updates. I've been trying to get this live stream going for Triple B TV. It's been a real struggle. And um, next video will give you a better update of, of how that's progressing. But right now it sucks. And I've got the stream coming up real soon, the first one with Vin Russo. So hopefully I can get that thing working so that it's not a horrible mess. Also, also, did you guys notice that we got fires going on out here right now? It's pretty brutal. So I'm gonna go outside to show you this stuff, the photography uh, tips, but I'm gonna try to not be out there too long because the smoke is kind of gnarly and the light is kind of crazy. Here, come look. Watch my step into the sunlight here. I look, I look orange, right? It's not because I'm, I'm really any more orange than anybody else out there. It's because this sun is shining through smoke. So that's gross. So these tips I'm about to give you guys are gonna be very simple. All you need is a phone. You don't need a fancy camera. As long as you have a phone with a camera, you're gonna be good to go. If you don't have a phone with a camera, you probably aren't even watching this video, so it probably doesn't matter. But if you're trying to sell snakes and you wanna take good pictures of them to a morph market or anything for that matter, this video should really help you out and make it real easy and not need you to spend any money whatsoever. Now, one thing I hear people say a lot is that natural light is the best going out in the sun and taking pictures of your snake gets you the best and most realistic colors, which is just not true. It's just not true. I hear people say it all the time, I'm just thinking, no, that's not how it works. The sun is our brightest and most powerful source of light that we have available to us to use. So yes, by all means use it. But it's the camera that determines how natural the colors look. The camera is interpreting the light and processing it. So if you're shooting on your phone in auto, your camera's deciding what the colors are gonna look like. For example, here's a picture right here, four different pictures that I took separately, all at the same time of day, in the same exact place, at the same time of the same snake, just on different colored backgrounds. I took one on a white background, took one on a black background, took one on a red background, and one on a yellow background. You see how the white balance from the camera got affected by those backgrounds, and those were all in the same natural sunlight. But what your camera is doing to determine what's right. Unless you're taking manual control, which is not what this video is about. I'm not trying to teach you guys how to take manual control over your camera, which you can get apps. If you wanna get fancy, you can get apps on your cell phone so you can actually take manual control. And in the editing process, which we're gonna go over as well, editing right here on your phone to make your pictures look the most natural because the, the goal, in my opinion, the goal on Morph Market is to show a natural and actual representation of what the snake looks like to the person looking to potentially purchase it. If you oversaturate the photo and it looks crazy, wild, vibrant, wicked, then the person gets the snake and it just looks like normal, that's not good. What we want is to get an actual representation of what your snake looks like. And the issue is that the camera can't do that. Our eyes are better than the camera. The camera just can't pick up the same dynamic range as our eyes. So you do have to do a little bit of editing afterwards, which I will show you just to get it to look like it looks when you look with your eye. Okay, one of the most important things is diffusing the light that you're shining on whatever you're shooting. Right now I've got this big soft box here. If I rip this thing off, check out my face. See how the, the light is kind of nice on my face right now? If I take that off and put the direct light on my face, look at these harsh shadows I'm getting. See this, see along my nose here, you're getting all this like real harsh, deep shadows that are real easy to see. That's what you don't want. You don't want that. It just doesn't look good. It looks bad. So if I cover that up, and diffuse it. Doesn't that look so much nicer? And that's what it's gonna look like on your snake too. Now you don't need to go out and buy anything, like I said. I mean, you could use like an old, just take a take whatever light you have in your house, put a lampshade on it, put a uh, bed sheet on it, put a, some paper towels over it, whatever you can to get to diffuse that light and not have it be direct 
that's, that's what's gonna help you out. All right, now if you're shooting outdoors, this is where I want you to shoot. You see this line right here? This is, I know it's all orange over there because of our smoke, but this line is the line of the shadow. This over here on this side is direct sunlight or undiffused sunlight. And over here is direct shade. Now it's not directly diffused like if it was a cloudy day, which by the way, if you find yourself in an overcast day situation, run outside with your snakes and take pictures out in that light. Overcast days is like putting a big giant diffuser over the sun and it gives you some of the most beautiful light to shoot it I know wedding photographers like if it's it's if it's overcast day out the wedding party may not be super stoked about the weather But the photographers like thank you Lord Okay, the snake I was planning to use is getting a little crazy. So I had to go put it away. We're gonna, Brett This is your snake. We're gonna use here I want to take photos first in this direct sunlight so you guys can see those shadows and why not to do it You can already see the shadow right there Look at that. That shadow is just, it's, it's not good. It doesn't look good. It's, it's unattractive. Uh, it's distracting. That's why you don't want to have it. It's distracting to whoever's looking at your snake and it just takes away from, it takes the focus off of the snake when you got that harsh shadow there. And do the same thing on a black background and you'll still get the shadow even on black. Watch this. You can still see it right there. That shadow is just, it's just too much. It's distracting. So all you have to do is just move right into the direct shade, right next to where the direct sun is shining, but in the shade. Now, I highly recommend shooting on a white or black background. You can change it up for your own personal preference, but um, there's a way that you can mark your photos, even if it's black and white and you want some kind of special thing. Why is there a fly in my face? If you want some kind of special thing, then you can do that, but black or white really helps show up the snake. If you've got a light snake, you know, put it on the black. If you've got a dark snake, put it on the white. I like to put all of my snakes on the white, even if they're light snakes, just because that's what I do. I'll show you a little trick to water mark your photos afterwards uh, without having to spend any money or do any work. All right, here we go. The snake's being very cooperative. Brett, your snake is doing great here. Here it is in the direct shade, photo on the white background. Boom, beautiful, no distracting shadows. Snake looks amazing. We'll get the colors even more accurate with the editing afterwards. Now put it on the black background. Boom, another great photo, no distracting nastiness or anything. Now let's go ahead, I'm gonna put this snake back and I'm gonna show you how to easily edit. I had to get out of that smoke, man, it's brutal out there. All right, let's take a look at these two photos and how you can edit them. So what I would recommend doing is if you wanna get the most accurate colors possible, Let's take a look at our snake on the white background. I can tell right away that the, just if you look at the background versus the white of the phone, it's not white. It's kind of got this bluish tint to it, which is what happens when you're letting the phone do the white balance for you, which is what your phone's gonna be doing. It's gonna automatically determine what white is in the photo. And it missed here. It's probably because there's blue in there, it's yellow in there, they're from the snake, and it's just trying to do its best job of interpreting what white actually is and doing that to make it work. So. That's why you have to edit afterwards to make sure you get accurate colors, even in natural sunlight. What I like to do is I like to, that, that white screen goes away when you go to the edit mode, so just have that same white board you took a photo on or anything white right next to it when you're editing the photo so you can see that it, you're getting it accurate white. And so to do that, you're gonna go over to the warmth or temperature, depending on what it's called on your phone. On the iPhone here, it's warmth. So if I go to cold, you see it turns even more blue. But if I go warm, because it was too blue, then it gets a little more accurate and you actually get closer to white. And you know, whatever looks close to white to you, you know, like I said, hold a little piece of paper up there that's white and, and compare it so that you're actually getting in the background that it's white. It's the same background, ideally. You shot it on a piece of white thing, use that white thing, hold it next to it and adjust your temperature or warmth until it's actually the white. And then once you're done with that, move over to the exposure and then brighten that up until it's not super blunt, obviously that's too bright right there. You don't want to go 100, you just want to go to till your whites are white. And it's actually as white as it was there outside. And it's looking pretty good already. And we probably don't need to adjust the blacks in this one because the, the blacks are looking pretty accurate. But that, that would be the third thing you do is move over to your blacks. And you can play through shadows, you can play through highlights and mess with those as much as you want. Um, or brightness, depending, all these different things to adjust your, your exposure. But the black point, I like to use that to get it back to looking black, so the blacks are black. And again, in this photo, they already were black, so that's obviously too far. You don't want it to look unnatural, you want it to look real. 
and you could just hold your snake next to the photo and say, does this look like the snake looks like? And if it does, you, you don't, you're doing it right. You definitely don't want to go into your saturation and do this because it's A, dishonest, and B, it's just, it's horrible. Nobody wants, nobody wants that. Nobody wants, nobody's going to get a snake that looks like that. And so you're trying to represent your snakes accurately. I think this looks good right here. I think we're done with that edit. That's beautiful. Look, look, the white, you can't even almost tell the difference in the top there between the white of the screen and the white of the photo. That's what I'm going for. You want that whiteness. Maybe crop it a little bit. You know, you want to make the photo about the snake. You don't want to make a, you know, don't have a bunch of empty space in there that you don't need. You know, focus on that snake and boom, you got yourself a beautiful photo ready to put up on Morph Market that, you know, the, the composition of the snake, that's something you can play with, like how it's laid out. This, I just wanted to get a quick photo for you guys. If you really want to get a black background, what you're gonna have to do is actually take manual control of your camera. I do have a video here about how to manually control your camera. Anyway, I, I hope that those tips helped. I mean, the simple things to remember is diffused light. Diffused light looks the best, whether you're diffusing the sunlight with the clouds, going into direct shade, or a window in your house is another good spot. If you're like in the city or something, you're in New York, you don't really have access to a lot of good outdoor spaces to shoot, just get right next to a window in your house. Boom, just like that. Not sun shining directly in the window, just next to a window where the sun's not actually shining in, and it's just right outside. Beautiful, looks great, right? Ah, oh, so nice. Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought that we were gonna go to the beach and escape the smoke and heat, but we just checked Morro Bay and it's just as smoky as it is here. So we're just gonna stay in the house while it's filtered. It's really, really thick pea soup out there. Like uh, this is the smokiest I've ever seen it in a place where I lived, which is crazy because I've grown up in California and our state catches fire every year at this time. But this is just, the, it's literally pea soup thick smoke out there. I, I'm, I'm, Mind blown. And so we're just gonna stay inside where the air is at least somewhat filtered and I'm gonna get attacked by inanimate dinosaurs. But <laughs> let's go. Don't worry, I still got, uh, don't worry because I I've still got that epic drone footage that I promised you coming up real, real just in a second here. But Noah. What? What do you know? I know. A lot of fires in California. Mm. Oh, anything else? <laughs> what about fires in California? Um, that there's a bunch of them. Um, some of them are spreading flames to our house. And flames? Okay, I meant smoke. It's turning the sunlight orange. It's, it's bad for us to breathe in, and that's all I know. Window light. Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? Um, I know. That right now it's burning outside, and some sand is right there getting burned up. And right now the pool is getting no. By the way, it's all dumped out. And also, the smoke is here. That's what I know. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Leia Moon. What? What do you know? The smoke's gone. The smoke's gone? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. The world twist away from the smoke. The, the broke trees went away from the smoke? Yeah. Oh, is that how it works? Oh. They blew away. Oh, they blew away. And that, I know. Thank you guys for joining us today in our disaster of a house <laughs> and our orange, orange light. I hope that you got some good information out of how to take good photos for Morph Market with your snakes. I really do, I hope that helped. I'm sure I missed something, so if you have some tips or tricks for folks that I missed, please leave a comment down below so that people can also go down, go down, row down, find your comment, maybe your channel. Speaking of which, KB Reptiles, go check out their channel if you haven't. My good friends in Canada 
awesome folks. I'll put a link down in the description for their channel. As promised, here's that drone footage. And this is part of why our house is a disaster. It's a, we're homeschooling now, like 100%. Everything's happening right here at this desk for homeschool. They got a desk in the room, and look, Hillary's doing a, a fantastic job of being a homeschool mommy. I, like, I, I can't imagine trying to tackle all this stuff, so luckily she's here doing that, but that's it, guys. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I hope you guys are having yourselves a wonderful day. I hope that drone footage set yourself set yourself right into a little place of peace where you can pull your necklace out that you forgot to put back on. Uh, did I take my shirt off? I must have. How did I get back in there? Anyway, <laughs> take care, guys. <laughs> See you soon.